So cesium is really big, and what that means is it has a very, very positively charged core, its nucleus, but its electrons are very far away. So okay. it can barely reach the electrons. Mm. And so because it's so big and their charges are so separated, oxygen, which oh. likes to take which electrons an from a neighbor. Thief. It is, exactly, it yes. It loves to it, steal electrons. So now it reaches for oxygen. What is the result of that chemical reaction? Is it exothermic? Would be my guess. Uh -huh. um, it really depends on the situation and like okay. where their energy levels are. Mm -hmm. It will form an ionic salt. And so it either forms cesium oxide or cesium superoxide. So mm -hmm. just either two cesiums and one oxygen or two oxygens and one cesium. Um, and it forms these two two products and they're that in itself is quite stable the oxides usually okay, are okay so what does it look what does this because he said violent what does this violent reaction look like so my guess is he's thinking about when you throw these group one metals into water uh, so we've seen this with sodium before if you've googled yeah, that love, love me some sodium and water right yeah. oh right, my gosh so, so you can cut it with a knife mm -hmm. the metal cut mm -hmm. it with a knife Toss and water it basically blows up. Yeah, nice. definitely. Exactly yeah, right. but it's but that's reacting with water. It is. Or is it the dissolved oxygen that it's reacting it's with? The, it's the same process that's okay. happening. It's the electrons being pulled from the group one metal. <laughs>